The application opening window comes after the World Health Organization's recommendation for wider routine use of the malaria vaccine in October 2021 and a decision by Gavi Board to approve an initial investment of $155.7 million. With this first step that uh, we are excited that we are beginning a very important journey uh, for protecting uh, the children in Africa. And we hope that someday will come where malaria will not uh, be a problem uh, that uh, causes many lives to be lost uh, and creates a lot of morbidity. The second window of the rollout, which will open at the end of the year, will be open to other African countries with moderate to high transmission of malaria. Lives are at stake, and I can't stress enough the need for increased attention from donors, from health leaders, and manufacturers. WHO is fully committed to working with partners to find ways in which to boost manufacturing capacity, increase vaccine access, and ultimately change the trajectory of this devastating disease. According to WHO, the introduction of the malaria vaccine will build on already existing prevention programs to drive down child mortality in Africa. As a malariologist who has devoted my professional life to fighting malaria, I do recognize this long-awaited malaria vaccine for children as a breakthrough for science, child health, and malaria control. According to Gavi, demand will be greater than volumes and production will take time to increase.